so it is sun in your eyeballs but we are here at the eureka springs drift nwa the tog event and pretty excited about it it's pretty chilly we had a nice as you saw we had a nice drive through the town police escorted uh we got a driver's meeting in about 20 minutes and i slept with the fan on so i got myself a little bit of a cold um, but other than that, it's probably going to be a great day out here. Definitely representing Mike and Bellino. Um, we're parked right behind the Big Indian Drift Crew. Cut. Ryan's here. Cut. Cut. Come on. Let's do this legit. Use your hands to talk. Action. Okay. I've always wanted to say that. See, this is this makes it weird. I don't know. All right, what's up, everybody? I don't know if you'll be able to hear me with the mic, but uh, we're yeah. here at Eureka Springs. Um, we have a driver's meeting in about 30 minutes and we are going to hit the mountains road. Uh, we don't really know exactly what it is, but it's supposed to be like six to seven turns. Um, we're going to have an escort up one way or down the other or vice versa. So anyway, we'll find out all that information at the uh, driver's meeting. But we're here. We made it. As you saw, we had a killer time driving through the little town of Eureka Springs that it's typically a summer town, so it was actually very quiet last night until we drove through there and raised absolute hell. Um, but yeah, just kind of getting ready to go, and we'll give you some good POVs and check in a little later. <laughs> oh, no, that was stupid. We missed the bus. <laughs> so we're doing a literal track walk instead of a track ride like we were supposed to, but... Uh, I ripped the banner the first time, and so we had to put a second one on it. And we missed our ride down the track, so um, just kind of trying to figure that out. But we're walking underneath the Bolino. Uh, this is apparently going to be the start line and probably the first bomb, the first hill. So you'll get to go with me on a track walk, and you can go up and down because I didn't hook up the Ronin. E brake drag. All the way out. This does. This is pretty shallow right here. Two strokes, baby. Alright, so it looks like they put a little bit of apron here. You can see the elevation change in this already. Um, yeah. Holy moly guacamoles. I don't know if you can get, if you can tell on camera, but this is pretty steep right here. Catch a lot of speed, hit that apron on the outside and go off that way if you're going off because that's pretty gnarly. I don't know. This is pretty steep. And then if you look down there, that's... See how far Ryan is. So yeah, this place is actually pretty cool. I'll show you on the way back up, but uh, it's an actual like church passion play, like sanctuary. So there's a lot of Bible verses. There's a lot of, there's a petting zoo. There's like carved rocks. Um, and like all these little placards right here say like, Bible verses so that one says Genesis it's like they've done some work on this road after a few events this is round three so I think they've learned some lessons uh, which is kind of cool like shout out to Jeff for that and um, but yeah this is like that's where I started up there we walked all the way down here come down and then it seems to be going pretty far down um, the beauty and scariness of this track is the fact that this there is no room for air right over here okay like we're hurting we're hurting the bottom of the car but we're able to get pulled out it's you mess up like there's a bunch of moss and algae on this side and then it's a pretty good little drop off down there into the trees uh, these little trees won't hold a car so this is kind of the excitement of the Toge event. This is a private road. Uh, we're not shutting down public roads. This is all owned by the church. And um, yeah, pretty excited. Uh, kind of nervous. I'm gonna lie. Everyone that knows me knows I get nervous around uh, as soon as we get to an event. 
and the fact that I missed the truck to do the spectator like drive walk is kind of kind of messing with me I really want to know the track but Ryan kind of forced me to uh, walk it and I'm kind of glad we did it's a huge elevation change um, like I said it was probably six to seven turns and looks like you can swing ride right here and down there is a the truck we were supposed to be on so, didn't he win the first one? On his yeah. oh, first that's the first one. That was yeah. gassed. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Did you say that everybody's here? Uh, except you. So I'll give you All right, we'll round. do roll call real quick. So, Nick Miller, I know you're here. Guys, we uh, are on our way to O'Reilly. Alternator issues again, we think. Uh, so luckily there's an O'Reilly literally two miles from this private road that we're on. And um, we're hoping that's the issue. We got three or four runs out of it. And once it starts getting warm, it's, you know, typical FC things, LS swap stuff. Um, but yeah. I am. Dude, every time we, the car. <laughs> we, we made it back and I'm gonna be a real YouTube content creator and film my mechanic just kidding he's not my mechanic but I uh, went and got a new alternator which is just fine that's the beauty of a 2003 Silverado truck motor in an 89 RX-7 is that the alternator is readily available so I don't even know there's probably not even worth filming Honestly, it's an alternator. Well, with enthusiasm like that, I wouldn't want to watch it either. You see here, folks? We're putting in a pristine, pristine alternator, okay? This is a lifetime warranty unit. We'll probably have it killed in the next three days, okay? So, stay tuned while I try to tighten this bolt. Power tools. This guy doesn't know to bring power tools. That's how you know I'm the mechanic. I brought my kit, a man kit. All right, new alternator in. It is that quick. And bam. Mechanic and mechanic. So now we have to wait. Uh, I don't know. We're actually going to go check. There's 45 minute sessions per group. We were in the first group because I'm a newbie. Second group, like Jack Davis, Daniel Stuckey, and all them are out there right now. Um, I think we did this in plenty of time for sure. So at least before it goes out again or something crazy happens, Ryan gets a chance to drive the toge. Um, and then we can really start having fun. There's been tons of people wanting to do ride-alongs because I mean, who, who, who wouldn't, right? Um, and yeah, we're just checking in with you guys in case you're sticking around for the movie and such and all that nonsense, even though it's probably in a movie. Uh, so I just wanted to pop in and say, uh, shout out to Valino for inviting Ryan and I, um, but <laughs> Jeff Groff, put together these goodie bags and literally for our price of entry we get a literal goodie bag so it comes with a freaking t-shirt a hat of course the banner it has a little a bunch of O'Reilly stuff I'm guessing O'Reilly's pitched in a lot so shout out to them and then a magnetic little uh, parts holder bolt holder whatever and I I just thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to pop in, let everyone know. Hope they're uh, enjoying the little content, and um, we're about to hit the mountain roads. But shout out to Drift NWA, the Toge event. These are legit shirts. Looks like a pretty good screen print, and um, yeah, excited to be here. So thanks again. Trying to get you. 
used to it. I don't want to send us off. <laughs>
That's my fault. I was focused on you. You were like, go. I was like. No, I'm pissed. No, you. No, I'm fine. You gonna hit your head on this? No, dude, I'm fine. All right. I'm just worried about the car. No, you just popped a tire. Is the kit fine? That's what that loud noise was. You de-beated it. I think just the FDF on that side is thin, but it's just the connection point for subframe. It's facing down. So, um, but I think you can probably turn the wheels back. Or is it dead? No, it starts. If the motor's not dead, it just shut off. I'm not tripping. Oh, well, the battery's in the front seat. That's why it went. Kill the switch then, so it doesn't melt anything. I told him, hey man, I'm, this is like the one track I drove this car, because I mean, I drove it at TMS, you know, fourth gear. This is the one track that I was like, <laughs> See, I was trying to carve out the mountain so we could really just run that line wider, but it's not working out. It's just. Henry tried one. pushing it sideways, and you just, you know, you tried yeah, help pushing it back more. <laughs> <laughs> so we are we made it through all of drift the nwa we made it through the toge uh we got a little too confident and mr ryan my mechanic and the one that actually helped build this car decided to send the car off into the ditch as you can see here Broke it more. Well, I'm not worried about it, but uh, we sent it a little too hard this weekend, but we got the full, like I said earlier, and you saw the clip that I added in, but 
it looks like all we did was damage the FDF lower, which has allowed the front wheel, oh damn, my bad guys, which has allowed the wheel an extra probably three or four inch gap right here in the front, and it's just shoved it back. But if, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's not, the strut's not damaged, the actual coilover's not damaged, the Fortune 500, the Fortune Auto coilover actually did an amazing job and kind of the only thing that broke was the FDF. It sheared the bolts out of the lower subframe out and then that allowed, it just allowed it to move, basically to move the wheel back into the fender well. KBD, still good, but we're going to hit up Irvin. I know you watched this Irving, so get my lifetime warranty coming, boy. Um, we've got a little bit of fiberglass to do here. Vacuum out the inside, and then this the back is a little is a little. So we clip the raised wheel. Shout out to Cody. You're gonna have to give me a new one coming. And then Big Country Labs. Um, I'm not a sponsor through them, but he has always hooked me up. So we'll probably just need to get. It looks like these actually could probably just be bent back. It's really because of the way they mounted into a 1989 RX-7 um, but you can see they're they're just a little wonky but overall the driver is a hundred percent fine said many times in real life as soon as you line up on the line you have to be ready to write your car off or you can't go drifting so you can't be mad if someone doors you and doors your car in and Ryan I trust Ryan to drive this car so it is nothing um, I am not, he is more upset than I am really. Um, yes, this is my baby, my car, but it's all fixable. Ryan was okay. That was the main thing. I, I was actually filming. I shot that video that you just saw. I'll put it up for you again just to embarrass him. Um, but the first thing I did is put the camera down and went to go make sure he was good. Make sure he didn't bang his head. Make sure everything was okay with him. He was visibly upset more about the car because it's not his, which is understandable. But like I said, this is what this is what it's about, right? If you let somebody drive your car and this can happen, you have to be able to do that or you can just be the jerk that lets no one drive their car. So it's getting dark. We finished the entire day. Um, we're going to go <laughs> drink some margaritas on Ryan this time. Um, and then we're gonna get here. We're gonna go to bed early get here with a fresh mind and get the car loaded up and get home early um, We got a very important project that you'll see next week uh, I'll actually finish that video and hopefully that build you'll see what we have to do, but we have plenty of stuff to do at home This car is not needed for drift week or the forest wing event at, at uh, HPA so it's not a huge deal. I've hit up Cody and I've actually hit up Josiah with FDF just to see what's going to be the most feasible option to getting just a lower or if I need to buy a whole kit and consider this to be a spare. Because honestly, if I had a spare lower, we could work on this in the morning and go get a redemption lap for Ryan. But it's just not feasible. It's not feasible to rebend or weld the billet, uh, especially in the middle of a church parking lot. And uh, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. So, yeah, um, like I said, Irvin, hit me up, dude. I know you're watching this. Don't make me call you the bad name. Um, now, nah, Irving is the man. The KVD literally did its job. Uh, nothing else as far as the KVD is hurt. You can see we did it in the rear quarter. KVD is still absolutely great. So, it needs new mounting tabs, a couple little rib nuts, and... Um, we're back sending it again. Power steering's fine. It's been on the same rack for six years since Taylor Ray had this car. So I may sit it up to Sparky Built and let them rebuild it anyway while we have the car down. But like I said, this project that you'll see next week takes more importance over this. And that's what we're going to concentrate on. So um, I appreciate y'all sticking around. I'm not going to bother you with doing an outro tomorrow. We just have to load the car up and get out of here and get home to our families. So... Um, I am going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this one. I tried to tell a little bit of a story. We put different POVs on it. And um, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you can, more than ever, because this is the 
little bit of money that this is going to cost. So let's try to get to 500 subscribers. I'm at 350 right now. It's only 150. Tell your friends. Uh, share this post. Whatever you got to do. And um, we'll see you next time. Bam.